Hi, my name is Matt. Welcome to Pony Power. In this video, uh, I'm going to tackle a little thing that some people ask now and then, and it's I've taken out my crankshaft, but I've still got a bearing stuck on there. Um, and how do I get it off? There are ways you can do it with heat and cold and trying to shock it off. Um, a lot of the times these don't work, so I want to show you the way I do it and the way you should really do it. What you need is a gear puller, um, a gear puller or shaft puller set, which basically comprises of uh, one of these clamps. And I'm not going to go through every single thing you can do with it and how you do everything. I'm just going to show you how it's done. So if your mate's got one or something like that, you can uh, borrow it or whatnot and uh, get it off. So basically, you usually get these in loads of different sizes. In my kit, I've got this one and then the big daddy one. Um, might have to get the daddy one. We'll see how uh, tight this one fits. Basically, what it's got is it's got jaws. Um, that are an at, if you can see that they're an angle, and what they do is they clamp around the bearing and uh, wedge underneath it, and um, use the rest of the kit, which I'll show you in a second, um, that presses the crank through the bearing. Basically, keeps the bearing stationary, and presses the crank through the bearing. So you need to make sure you've got the right clamp, and I think this will do it, it looks like it will. So it goes around there, it hasn't got a sneak under it, and you tighten the bolts like this. Make sure that the angle, the wedge is going underneath the bearing. You flip it the other way, then you're just wasting your time. So you can look at the side and see, yeah, she's, it's going to be tight. The best thing is the outside of radi um, bearing ca cages are radius, so it can kind of sneak under there. You don't need to tighten these super tight. You will have to tighten them up as you go, as it starts to sneak under the bearing. Next thing you get in the kit is these standoffs, which are basically just threaded posts. And this kit's had a lot of use, so it's um, in a bit of a state. A lot of um, drive shaft bearings and stuff like that, and they're good for steering wheels as well. Um, and then you get your yoke, which is this bit and that sits on the top, like so. You get your two nuts out of your kit, and you thread them on top. Now, you, usually, you would use washers. Um, this you, this probably isn't going to take that much force, so I'm not too bothered about that. Sometimes when you're trying to get these big tapered bearings off shafts and stuff like that, it could be a massive pain in the ass. And they are seriously on there. So basically what we're setting up is we're setting up a jig um, that will grab behind the bearing, and it's all locked into position. Like I said, these things don't have to be stupidly tight. Um, and then the hole in the centre your actual um, rod that screws in and in the end it has a dimple that will sit on the end of your crank nose so just like that just on there like so and then when you tighten this down not by hand obviously <laughs> when you tighten this down it will press the crank through the bearing. So if we get a spanner, 17mm for this one, and we just tighten this down. That's it, go easy, there's no need to go insane. Um, take it bit by bit by bit. hasn't, <laughs> in this example, it hasn't crept under the bearing, if you see it's sliding out from under. So what we need to do is we need to loosen this off, loosen our nuts off, maybe I could have done with a bit of tightening. Uh, oh, 17 again. Undo these. Make 
sure it's loose again. And, um, This is the problem with some of these. You can get better kits. Like I say, this thing has had a lot of use, a lot of wear. Um, so it's coming to the end of its life. Make sure you evenly tie up the bolts. Um, Tighten up the other side so I can hold them up. There's no need to go too insane, like I say. You go too insane, you're going to shear something off, you're going to snap a bolt or a rod. Just um, sometimes I've tightened these down and uh, just pop the bearing off just by wedging these under. Right, so now that's wedged under, and it's wedged under the best it's going to get. Now we can have another go. One, one. might be white. Is that creeping up there? Maybe not. She's coming. I'll give it what? Turn a complete turn, and you can see there there's a gap forming. And it gets easier and easier as soon as you start getting some momentum in the bearing, and then you'll just feel it let loose, and then you can take your rod off. And everything will all of a sudden go floppy, all the nuts go floppy, everything seems to just because there's no pressure. And then there you go, you can just bear enough, that's it. So that's how you get your bear enough. Um, as simple as that. Like I say, if you have the right tools, everything's a lot easier. If they're knackered, get some new ones in a bit. <laughs>